Back with some hometown magic, but a little grittier this time. Welcome to a run and does music, where today we're looking at the second album from Lost Magic, that being Insubordination. As I noted the last time around with this band, this is a band that a friend of mine is in, and I was wanting to do some review pieces for it, both as a fuck it why not thing, as well as a way to show support to the lads. The first album was a good look into the multi-tiered edges of punk and garage band vibes, and here on the next album they're exploring some more elements, with polish and precision coming through on the returning favorite sounds. Fealty comes in second on the track list, and it was the first song to make me go back and re-listen for its drum-dominated setup and overall confrontational lyricism that feels per perfectly at home within a muddy, angst-riddled soundscape. It's easy to fall into an almost stereotypical, repetitive sort of pattern when it comes to angst-riddled or emotionally driven lyrics uh, within songs, but Fealty manages to toe the line between what may come away as a sort of mid-2000s emo track, as well as a modern take on the subtle grunge rock elements. The beauty of Lost Magic and their sound, which again switches in between punk to garage rock to indie rock to basically just all sorts of genres that you could fit under a rock label, really, it, it just boils down to their ability to sound like a lot of different aspects of rock, with the aforementioned mid-2000s vibe and just overall timeless groove that permeates throughout the album as a whole. Following in track order is Strictly for the Birds, a more vocally leading effort that has some nice stop and goes, especially within the chorus, and like I said, there's just something that transcends a bass label within this song. I can think of it as belonging to a modern Spotify playlist, as much as sitting on a burnt CD from a Windows 7 RAM laptop. I've hit on it multiple times just at the beginning of this review, but that's because it bears needing said. Lost Magic is a band very early into their career that is already establishing their own vibe that sits within a lot of inspirations and a lot of different genre placements. If you had to pick which of the two Lost Magic albums have the more overall punk edge, it's a self-titled effort for sure, but quick firing power does collide with the more groove-heavy feelings, with Stolen Valor coming into the latter half of the album. This song has a powerful bass and interesting guitar solo that had me physically cocking my head in curiosity on the first listen, as it manages to pull your attention in without distracting you too much from the song overall. Creating a good balance of a guitar spotlight right there next to the trio combining to form an overall cohesive expenditure of standout sections. On the flip side, one of the longer songs is on the other half of the album, that being Hall of Mirrors. We go from short to long with this track, which sees a good tension building intro that flips the switch straight into an easy to nod along to song that almost feels like it has no real sexual differences. I wasn't sure of this at first, as songs with a more long form approach, as opposed to something cut into, say, verse, chorus, repeat, bridge, chorus, may be more approachable, but it's thanks to the simplicity of the three-member, three-instrument element of the band that it comes across so clean and enjoyable. One element I feel doesn't get enough time to shine enough is, oddly enough, the vocals, despite their standing at the forefront thanks to, you know, the typical band formula of the lead vocalist kind of being at the center of things. This isn't a slight to the singer Mason as all, as he does have solid moments for sure and has a voice that's not just unique to the landscape around them, but does still have those strong peaks despite there not being as many compared to the instrumental contributions. Cure For You comes to mind in the best, in a, excuse me, the best song to talk about in terms of his voice coming across in not just a powerful way, but an emotional way with the lyrics and vocal delivery feeling cathartic and full of feeling. Going back to that idea of simplicity within a three-member band, I think there's something really special being done here because you either have really one of two things happening with bands. You either have a normal band formula or you have a 50-50 split across the scene and across music in general of too much or too little within band members and their contributions. You've heard the too much example being thrown to people like, you know, Slipknot or Mushroom Head, and you've heard the too little thing being brought up with bands like Water Parks or the initial lineup for All Time Low. But I think Lost Magic manages to get a lot done with just three elements. From what I understood, listening to the album and trying to pick out different elements, there really is just three instrumental properties coming in here, whether there be some layers in there or some additional studio work being done, it's still just guitar, bass, drums, and of course vocals. And as I've said a few times before, the simplicity pays off. My favorite thing about Lost Magic as a band, Insubordination as an album, and just the overall consensus is that it's music that fits nearly any situation. The ska-feeling single Sideways Street feels like a good skating or driving music playlist seeker, while Cure For You is a track made to drink coffee to at home. They managed to not only touch on a lot of emotions and feelings, but capitalize on them with subtle changes here and there to keep the tracks fresh, 
but connected at the same time. It's for that reason and the reasons listed above that Lost Magic's album Insubordination gets an 8 out of 10. And that's the review. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. This is, like I said, the second review I've done for Lost Magic, so if you haven't checked out the other one for their self-titled album, go give it a watch. Go give the albums a listen, more importantly. Follow them on social media. Whole nine yards. Great band. Great guys. They deserve the support. And uh, yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're staying hydrated. I'll see you next time.